First at 5.30 tonight, we are tracking an important eyewitness news alert. More mosquitoes in southeastern Massachusetts have tested positive for mosquito-borne illness. And we've learned West Nile virus has been detected in Dartmouth, and mosquitoes in Mansfield have tested positive for Tripoli. E. Those communities now added to a list of more than a dozen cities and towns in Massachusetts where mosquitoes have tested positive for the viruses. The new information comes one day after we learned Tripoli e claimed the life of an 85 year old Weymouth woman. Right now, officials aren't sure if she contracted the virus in that town. And tonight, officials in other towns are taking extra precautions against the threat of mosquito-borne illness as kids head back to school. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in Swansea from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom with the details. Well, this afternoon, a worker here at Joseph Case High School has been fixing the lights on the football field, but unfortunately, those lights won't be used too often. That's because the school committee voted to suspend all outdoor activities after 6.30 p.m. These empty fields will be full of student athletes practicing and getting ready for the fall season. Friday night football games are part of a culture of a, of a high school. But this year, there'll be Friday afternoon games starting at 4 o'clock under the sun instead of under the lights. The rescheduling of games and practices comes after the health department confirmed a pool of mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile virus. The school committee felt that it wasn't um, worth putting in jeopardy, either the parents, the spectators, uh, the relatives, uh, as well as our athletes. Swansea School Superintendent Robert Montero says this isn't the first time the school committee made this decision. It's been either West Nile and Tripoli or Tripoli and not West Nile, um, where the school committee has acted in the same manner. Every year, Montero says there's mixed reaction to the committee's decision. But in the end, he supports the members erring on the side of caution, and he hopes the rest of the community does too. Those who are out there who would like to see us play Friday night games, I think, ultimately realize um, that we're doing the, the, what's right, what we feel is right, and what we feel is safe would keep everybody most safe. Again, that decision is to suspend all outdoor activities after 6.30 p.m. until the first frost of the year. And typically that first frost happens between late October and early November. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.